Well, welcome to another Home Echo Online. Today we're going to be making Cornish pasties. And this recipe will make two. So download the recipe, the link is below. Making the pastry. You will need half a cup of ice cold water, half a cup of plain flour and half a cup of self-raising flour quarter of a cup of butter, a quarter of a teaspoon of lemon juice and a pinch of salt. So begin by sifting both the flours together and the salt. And this will remove any lumps. Now add the butter to the flour and rub the butter and the flour together between your fingertips until it resembles breadcrumbs. Don't worry about breaking all the butter up. Now add the lemon juice. Add half the water and start to bring the dough together. You need enough water to bring it together and it depends on the humidity of the room. So keep adding a little bit of water at, at a time. Now get your hands in and knead until it forms a ball. Any lumps of butter will create flakes in the pastry. So add some cling film and you need to rest the pastry for approximately 30 minutes and whilst that's happening you can prepare the filling so I'm using beef, potato, carrot and onion so chop the onion, the potato and the carrot until they're all very small like this So a pinch of salt, onion, carrot and potato, all quarter of a cup and half a cup of minced beef. Combine all the filling together. And using either a silicone spatula or a wooden spoon, stir. Now roll out the pastry like this. Firstly, sprinkle flour on the work surface and the rolling pin to prevent the dough from sticking. Push down and roll. Keep turning. And then find something circular to cut around, either a saucer or a dish. And there's one cut out. Now you're going to add the filling to the center and you need to leave a, a space all the way around. We're going to brush with some egg. This acts as the glue. And we'll the egg will help to seal the pastry. 
fold over and then seal the edges of the pastry. Pinch with your fingers, push any little bits of meat that might be filling that might be poking out, push it back inside. And I'm just using a fork just to help seal the pastry and then I'm going to flip to the other side. Like this, I flipped it over and now I'm going to fold over the edges as shown to prevent any of the filling from spilling out during the cooking. Now it's important to clip and allow some steam holes. I'm going to brush it with some egg and then bake for 30 minutes in a preheated oven. Serve. Enjoy.